All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Word with Ty Brownlow. I am your host, Ty Brownlow. And remember, no one is worthless. No story is worthless. Today, ladies and gentlemen, do I have a very special guest for you. I'm really pumped today because we're going to talk about culture, okay? Not just culture, but musical culture, all right? All the way from Virginia, please, Please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one and only ever G. <laughs> How are you? I'm well, I'm well. Um, the message was, the message is, and the message will always be peace, love, and unity. I always introduce myself that way because that's the core of who I am and what I do. And thank you for having me, Ty. Really appreciate your time and energy look thank you for being on my platform today and man as always peace love and unity is man absolutely okay Essence. yes sir so as i said before we're going to talk about culture all right musical culture and we're going to that fabulous island you know, yeah. with, with mixed sounds yes and, and you know they brought you the musical stylings everyone mm -hmm. knows bob marley yes man we're talking about reggae Yes, all the so, way. All the man, all day and all the way. Yes, sir. So, first and foremost, you have a hit single out now, sir. It's called I Feel Love. Can we talk a little bit about this? Yes, yes. Um, That song came about, I wrote that song in 2020. Hmm. When Brother Man, I felt right during the, during the, peak of the pandemic you know mm -hmm. everybody was on lockdown on the whole nine yards and i felt a little bit down and i'm like okay as an artist i gotta do something to really motivate and help myself yes and one of the things that 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 came on is like um i'm here and i have my health i have my family and that's a, that's a lot to be thankful for you know True. and I walked to the window, the sun was shining brightly. And I'm like, okay, I got my scratch pad and I say, okay, I got to let me do something here, you know. I feel love from the planet Earth. Yes. Yes. I always feel love from Jamaica, the land of my birth. Yes. And it started there in the hook with, with those hook lines, you know. And just how thankful i am to be able to feel these emotions mm -hmm. and share them mm -hmm. with with the world as it were now you know so it, it's just a tribute to mother nature it's a tribute to that feeling of it's a feeling of love man it's a feeling of love and just, just sharing what i'm feeling with other people and just so we don't take things for granted, you know? True. Be definitely. Because, because I mean, the importance of sunlight to us, the importance of, of air, of water, mm -hmm. a child's smile. You know, one, one, one of the things that really gives me a lot of promise and hope for the future is just hearing children, laughter of children. Yes, yes. Yeah. It, be, because that, that's happiness. Pure. Yes, exactly. You know, it, it's it's not fake. It's just we are happy playing whatever we're doing, whatever we're doing. So it gives me that joy and to be able to put this into song and to share it for the world, man. So that's where, you know, I feel love. That, that's how it came about. You know, and um, yeah. Look, let me just tell you, I love it. Uh, I've seen the video and Thanks, everything that you speak of is pretty much, you know, how the video goes. You know? Yes. And you know, not taking for granted, you know, just the air we breathe, you know, mm -hmm. the sights that you see. Yes. You know, as you said, like yeah. laughter, children's yes. laughter. That's pure yes. joy. Absolutely. Know? That's like Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So, um, you know, 2020 was a very turbulent year for, yeah. you know, tens of thousands of millions, you know. Yes, sir. Um, but having, you know, that type of mindset and that motivation to go in to make something so beautiful, I feel definitely, man, was right on point. Thanks. And I'm going to take it a step further. Look, I love reggae. I mm -hmm. am a, 
I'm more than a fan. I'm more than a student. It's really yes. lifestyle. You know, nice. for me. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. I understand what you're saying. Okay. Totally understand what you're saying. It's, so uh, when I hear these things and I see these things, you know, I'm just like, okay, you know what? There is some right in the world somewhere. You you know what I'm saying? Someone is trying to right the ship somewhere. <laughs> so I'm going to let them right that ship and I'm going to support them however, you know, which way I can. Thank you, my brother. I can play this all day, Thank every you. day. And, um, you know, we're going to talk about this later on in the interview. Yes. But, you know, it gets back to the true essence of the Roots Rock Ring. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. That's hey look. Let me just say I definitely appreciate that, and I appreciate you for bringing that to us. Thank you, man. Thanks, Ty. Much no appreciated. Problem, no problem. Yes. Now this is your eighth studio album now. From yes. Life. Okay. Yes, it is. So look here. <laughs> you started all the way back in 1999. All right, yes, sir. That's correct. World peace. Okay. So now let me ask. Wow. From 1999 all the way to now. How has the evolution of Ever G, you know, taken place? Like where you started at before, I know, I definitely know you're not the same person you were when you first started to who you Correct. are now. Yeah. What has changed with you? What has changed with me is some, there are some changes and there's some remain the same because I was committed, I am, I was committed and I'm still committed to creating positive, uplifting music. Yes. I am not going to put down anyone to elevate myself. Sure. I'm going to speak the truth. I'm committed to that under the title of my seventh album. I'm going to speak the truth about things the way I see it. Right? Mm -hmm. um, over, the, over the years... I've been told by different people I've gone out to perform and why don't you change so and so? Why don't you do more, more, more um, this kind of beat? And that is not who I am. Okay. I am a student of reggae. When I was in Jamaica, when we transitioned from ska to rock steady to reggae, then I go dance all on one of you. I grew up listening to roots rock reggae that's what i know and that will never ever ever change i grew up watching going to this go into stage shows watch bob marley on stage peter tosh on stage burning spear on stage dennis brown gregory isaacs jacob miller you name it there on stage i was in the netherlands as a matter of fact the last time i saw jacob miller perform i was in 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 um the netherlands Ooh. and jacob and jacob and inner circle came over i was in the front row man and when jacob said any jamaicans in the house we said yo with that. <laughs> you know <laughs> so yes <laughs> but, but but reggae reggae is in the very core of my being, my spirit, man. It mm. it it um exudes reggae. This is what I know. I will always deliver or try to deliver a message in my songs. Yes. It's important, you know, it's for entertainment, yes. You sing and you dance, but there's also a message in the music. Something positive that a listener can take away. Something I create my music in a way that from the youngest child mm -hmm. to the to the to our elders mm -hmm. can listen to it without feeling offended by anything I'm going to say. Thank you. Thank I keep you. I'm going to keep it for one bit of word clean, but I'm keeping it real. I am respectful of people, the youth, females, my my peers. Yeah. My elders, man, my elders, maximum respect every time, my elders, you know, so when they listen to what I have to say, I have to give them something positive, man, because I love people and I respect people. So this is my message to you. That's what, that's, that's what I'm bringing, you know, so a lot, there's not a lot that has changed, but I am more committed than ever to deliver 
that positive message in my songs and i that's something that i will never deviate from i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna keep it positive that's what i do i love it i love it I thank love you my brother and you know as i said before like when you really break down the true essence of reggae and you go back and you really do your history mm -hmm. on reggae you know yep. it's not what you hear now and we're no. talk about that in a minute yep but it's not what you hear now but the real true essence of reggae is to uplift it yes. is to tell a story it is to talk about what's going on, you know, around, yes. you know, us now like, yes. in the country. It's going to be a little political mm -hmm. because some of the artists you name, Pete yep. Tosh, oh, yeah. I know for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Razor, okay, all right. No you watch my game. size, man. All right, you better <laughs> yes. watch my size. I'm dangerous. <laughs> okay? Yes. So, yes. I know for sure, man, he's at the... <laughs> Yes. You can have a whole jam session about Peter Tasha Lowe. My brother, you can say that again. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. My artist. Yeah, no, like he is definitely at the top of the list. And yes. you know, you also mentioned Jacob Miller. Yep. Jacob Miller, for those of you who are not up on true Jamaican culture, you know, yep. as Ever G and I were talking um before the interview, one of my favorite movies or my favorite movie yes. is this movie called Rockers. Rockers was was made in like the mid to like early 70s, I believe. Yes. Um, yes. Over in Jamaica. And uh -huh. it's, it's like truly a tale of Robin Hood, you know, but it's, but I mean, it has a message and the music in there is phenomenal. Absolutely. Jacob Miller sings yeah. about, you know, yeah. Redlocks get clipped in the tenement yard. Tenement yard. You know? That's right. Man, That's look, right. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> Woo, <look here. laughs> so look. Yes. All right. <laughs> because I have to calm myself down. <laughs> I hear you, man. I, I can feel the vibe. I can feel okay. the vibe. Positive. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> you know, being a traditional reggae artist yourself. You yes. Know, you mentioned a couple of different styles, you know, mm. from ska to mm. steady to yes. the dub to the dance hall. In your opinion, what style, I mean, because I know you can do all, but what yeah. style do you feel best suits you? My style, I just keep it simply roots. Simple roots. Um, ska, nice and fast, right? Yes, yeah. Then, yeah, yeah then when, it, when it, uh, early 70s, Slow it down. We're going to rock steady, you know, mm -hmm. with the Del Ryan Wilsons and you know, <laughs> and, you know so we slow it down. Yeah. And then we picked up the tempo a little bit, little bit in the mid seventies. I've got straight roots rock reggae. The era of Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Dennis Brown, Jacob Miller, um, Alton Ellis, and all those, um, John Holt, and all those brothers. Man, it's like just, just sweet music being played by musicians who learned the music and played the music because let me share it with you that if, if you listen to some of the old the old school reggae artists mm -hmm. people who recorded on two tracks in a studio two tracks in a studio and the quality of the sound that they produced when you're like what yes, yes. you know it, 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 it is amazing that they use so little to give you that quality sound. So, yeah, so the, the, the brothers, you know, like, and, and they're a little bit my elders, but like, like you know, Bob, Peter, Bunny, those are the people who I look up to and I, and I try to emulate because they have been impactful in more ways than one. Mm. They speak of which they know. They speak for the oppressed. Yes people peoples of the world you know but right there in jamaica we we had our struggles and what have you and they were they were speaking out for these people man you know speaking truth to power so to speak mm -hmm. but they were they were speaking for a lot of us yes at that time because we our voices needed to be heard and we were speaking through them because mm. that was the reality of jamaica mm. you know and so these, these brothers who really took the reggae from the from the shores 
brought it, you know, to America, to Europe, yes. to Africa, yes. to Asia. You know, it's it is just so encouraging that from the, the island, the roots, roots rock reggae music is now being played all over planet Earth. Yes, and that's something I'm extremely happy about. I mean, I have a you know a couple of songs out there that it's been played you know all, all over the world and it it's a good feeling because i just want to share the message of peace love and unity yes. with all humankind wherever you are that's that's it i love it I love yes it. sir i love it i love it so now you know some of these you know influences you have you know talked about you talked about peter you talked yeah. about bob you talked about dennis brown um Oh God, Bunny Whaler, you know, mm-hmm. just name a few. Now, yeah. You know, I mean, because the list goes on and on. We right. Can name a whole bunch. True. Like, what is it about some of your influences that, what is it about some of them um, that you take from like your influence on their sound uh-huh. and you put it and incorporate it into your sound to make, okay. you know, your like type of music? One of the things I, I know, uh, know about is, when the brothers like Bob and Peter, Dennis, when they are recording a song, mm. musicians, the session in the studio, bass, guitars, yes. the drumming, yes. if you have the hand section, everybody come in the studio and they record together. In my humble opinion, having that amount of energy musical energy yes together in one place at one time you you can do phenomenal things man you can do phenomenal things because you you, you leave the ego at the door you bring creativity within the studio mm-hmm. so i'm playing something you play something like let's let's try this you know because you have a person to talk to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so to me th- th- that that is so big on influence the quality of sound that you get and that's something that i try to do in my music i try to get my musicians to come into the studio with me not on all my albums but as, well, I, as much as i can yes. especially on my, my on my on my last album is individual tracks were recorded individual tracks mixed and mastered the whole nine but that's something that I, I've taken from, from, from those, 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 those brothers. The other thing that I will say is this. These brothers wrote songs that meant something. Same. The lyrical content, it was so potent and positive that if you take the time to just listen to the lyrics of the music, you're going to get something from it. It's telling you something. It's saying something. You know, so... Peter Tosh. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I Peter is an artist who I admire so very much. Because he he was uncompromising in, in his message. Very. Very uncompromising. He he was militant, he was strong, and he said what needed to be said. You know, he he was very, very impactful to many, many people. Mm-hmm. And it's someone who I have a lot of respect and admiration for. Dennis Brown, that voice, man, that voice. You know, it's like, I, I, it's something that I, I don't copy, but I love the inflections in his voice. And I, you, I, I use, I use, I train myself to do some of what, what, you know, what things that he does, because I really admire that. He is, Dennis Brown is my favorite singer bar none peter is my favorite artist but <laughs> dennis is my favorite singer bar none i mean i sit here and listen sometimes to sound like silhouettes you know westbound train mm-hmm. if i follow my heart blood son people don't people don't know, know, know a lot of these songs because you know wolves and leopards and it's like oh my god that talent man that talent was amazing <laughs> you know, and then I mean, we don't say Bob Marley, he's one yeah. of the greatest right when it comes to writing songs. 
Mm. He was he he was such a powerful powerful writer, man. It's like gosh, mm. you listen, yeah, stiff necked fools, um, he, pimpers paradise. He he wrote some song, man, some classics, man, Buffalo Soldier. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it it's like wow. Then I'm gonna bring it here, Curtis Mayfield. Okay. Curtis okay. Mayfield and impressions, man. Yes. Man, I have mad respect <laughs> for Curtis Mayfield. Yes. Yes. I listened to the har I listen to those vocal harmonies in some of the songs, man. Mm-hmm. And I'm just totally mesmerized. Because all I can say about it is like they're just sweet harmonies. That's all I can say. It, it, it's just beautiful vocal arrangement the blend the totality of it. and then curtis as a songwriter man he was he was so far out there man yeah he was ahead of the song oh my gosh new world order people get ready he, he wrote some songs when it's like oh my gosh <laughs> now as i as i get older i'm appreciating him more yeah. and more and more you know tremendous respect for, for curtis but let me let me say this, man. It's like the artists that were out there in the um, mid seventies to like mid eighties, man. Mm-hmm. Those were the glorious years, in my opinion, of reggae music, man. Some really, really positive, uplifting music came out of that little, little island, man. Really, really great music, and those have those are. The people that have really influenced me to a very, very great extent. Yeah. Well, let me just say, you know, um, I'm in Chicago. So, you know, Curtis Mayfield is yes. from here. And, there you go. And, um, you know, I can just say, man, from Curtis Mayfield on down to everybody else you've named, you know, mm-hmm. like, you talk about like songwriting, you're talk about beat arrangement, you know, just like arranging notes or in harmonies and things yeah. of that nature um, when you talk about the message and the music yes. um, things of that man you know like all these things are man all these people have that in common yes Dennis brown when you yes. talk about dennis brown a mm-hmm. lot of people those who truly know mm-hmm. will not dispute what i'm about to say mm-hmm. but for the most part dennis brown really is the voice of reggae. He really <laughs> is the godfather of reggae. Yeah. You know? Like, if you go back and check the history, mm-hmm. people, you know. <laughs> and I, I want to share this with you. I know, I know you know this, but I know a lot of people don't know this. Bob Marley's favorite singer was Dennis Brown. He he said that himself. He said it himself. Verbatim. <laughs> yes. I remember that. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have, no, I have a Bob Marley documentary. Which speaks on Dennis Brown, you know. Really? Oh man. Well, first and foremost, let me just say how I got this <laughs> DVD was not the uh-huh, uh-huh. I got ways, you. I got but, you. I mean, you know, just the fact to get the knowledge and the history and yes. you know, just to listen. Yes. Oh, like, no, he yes. goes and he they talk about it not really like truly like for a long time, but they do talk about it enough in depth. Whereas he's like, yeah, you know, Dennis. I mean, he's the voice of Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. So yes. for those who really know, mm-hmm. he's the voice of Jamaica. Amazing talent, man. Amazing Obviously talent. Just recognized worldwide. Yes. That's just correct. That's correct. All it is. Yep. That's all it is. Yeah. So, look, people, do your history, Dennis. Yeah. Brown, okay. Big time, big time, big time. Yep. All right. So now let's talk about some of these awards now, you know, because you won, like, a, man, a few awards. Man, 2013, yeah. <laughs> Artist, okay? Yeah. 2016, Best Reggae Album, Academia Awards, okay? And yeah. 2017, man, Best Reggae Album again for Unleashed. Yeah. How does... A, and, you know, let me just say this. I know the message in the music is very important. Yes. Very important. Like that's like at the top. Mm-hmm. 
But when you get recognized, you know, by your peers and the industry for these, man, you know, for these projects that you're putting out, how does that make you feel like, what does all this do for you? What it does for me, it gives me encouragement mm. to keep doing what I'm doing yeah. because it tells you that people are listening to what I'm putting out there. Mm -hmm. People, people are having a favorable impression of what you know what uh, what what i'm delivering yeah. and it is it is um it really validates mrg as an artist to say okay you're doing something right yes. keep doing what you're doing you know you, you you're, you're making a positive contribution which is exactly what i what, what i really desire to do so keep doing what you're doing and um just just be true to who you are man you know so it, it's a great feeling but I also take it with humility because my 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 mother, you know, she she's, she's she's a lady who I have so much respect for her, and she always keep things in perspective with me and for me. It's like accept and be thankful when you are recognized. Don't don't get big headed. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Stay grounded. Mm -hmm. Stay grounded and keep doing what you're doing. If you believe in what you're doing, don't deviate. Stay the course. Be true to who you are and keep doing what you're doing. So that that's the way I try. I approach it. You know, and as I get older and more mature, yes, that's exactly how I approach it. It's just thanks. You know, I appreciate whatever I'm given and I will continue to do what I'm doing to the best of my ability for as long as I can. And that that's, that's basically my approach to it. Well, I love it because let me just say, you know, I feel when you're recognized for your accomplishments, of course, people are watching. Right. Um, but of course, what you're doing is that of value. You know, yes. You're yes. not just doing it, you know, for, you know, the clout or, you know, mm -hmm. just say, hey, look at me. This is what I do. No, right, right, not, right, right. What this is like, yes. this is from the heart, this is from the soul. Yes. So I'm going to like put this out here for you all mm -hmm. to consume. And, yes. and man, hopefully, you know, the message of positivity, love, <laughs> that I'm spreading yes. can come across to you all. And hopefully you know shower over you and you know you become that vessel you know as well and you go out and spread the same message I yes look. yes i see yes okay. <laughs> yes my brother well yeah <laughs> i like the way you wrap that one up man beautiful yes yes <laughs> okay i see i see you over there mm. look every g y'all look oh, man i am um, Y'all really don't know how happy I am right now. <laughs> Same here, man. Same here. Yeah. Like, like this is, yeah, I have an internal smile. So I'm going to. Very positive. Man. Very positive. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> so now let me ask this question to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, in this day and time, you know, there's the reggaeton. You know, mm -hmm. There's a lot of upbeat reggae so-called reggae music and uh -huh. that's not you know any offense to those who are doing that you know right um right at the end of the day you're still trying to you know keep the movement alive and uh -huh. set ahead uh -huh. but let me ask uh -huh. in your opinion yes how can reggae music get back to the true essence the true essence of the roots rock reggae aspect how can they get back to that and we thank you for asking that question thank you for asking that question i've never got asked that one before and i'm happy that you asked that question how we can get back to producing top quality roots rock reggae mm -hmm. is by people going back into the studio and start playing the instruments to produce because you have i mean top quality bass amp you have so much now that we didn't have or peter and Bam did, didn't have back in in 1970 you have the top quality equipment now mm -hmm. and people just use the computers to to um 
manipulate this and to do that. No, man. Now, if we are going to go back to roots rock, rate, keeping it real, keeping it solid, we have to play our instruments, play the songs. Don't, don't allow, don't take up the machinery to do what you should be doing no. as a musician. Because if you know, if, if you, if you pay attention to the quality back then and what's coming out now, there's such a vast difference. And I just, in my humble opinion, if we step back and really learn how to play our instruments, play them well, work together, leave the ego at the door, Please. come together as musicians, as creative people, play the music, have studio engineers mix mix the sound master the sound properly listen with a critical ear don't be in a, ru in, in a rush to get something out there mm. let's yeah let's deal with the quality of the sound first let's get it right then we move on see we we're so we're in, we're living in the, in these times we're in such a rush to get everything done mm. no we're gonna pump the brakes man or the pump the brakes if we want to do it right and really bring back the quality of roots reggae music in my humble opinion pump the brakes step back get into the studio play work the music work the music don't allow the synthesizer and the computer program to do do stuff for you get work play the music properly you know and i think we would be able to create some awesome sound the other thing is we just need artists to do more original things thank you it's like there's so much covers out there man it's like you you turn on you turn on a reggae show and the amount of covers you hear i'm not saying you don't cover people's songs that's not what i'm saying because there are songs that i would cover you know but you have an artist who 80% of their material are cover songs. No, I, I, I can't see that. I can't see. Write in. Write your own songs, man. <laughs> what, what, what really matters to you? Is, is, is it love? Is it, is it the planet Earth? What matter, write about what matters to you and bring it out. Get some creativity in there. Get some originality in there. Cause that's what that's what we're sadly lacking right now is creativity and originality mm. we yeah we get caught up in the it's quick and it's easy because the rhythm is there already let's jump on it and do whatever yeah. nah i think we should we need, we need to just step off a little bit and really really start creating our own sound mm. a unique individual sound you know because I can be in my deepest sleep, and if I hear Dennis Brown's song, I know it's Dennis Brown. Exactly. Same thing with Peter, same thing with Bob, Jacob, same thing. I know Dennis, um, Gregory Isaacs, the same thing. I know, you know, because these these brothers have a distinct sound. If I hear a Wheelers, Wheelers tune playing, I know it's Wheelers because the sound is it's unique and it's distinct. We got to really go back to that kind of, that kind of creativity. To keep this thing moving forward, man. We, we really need that. We really need that infusion of originality, positivity, and creativity within the music. To keep it moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, don't take my words for it. You have an original reggae artist here who has shared the stage with such acts as a Gregory Isaac. Yep. A Shabba Ranks. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, but, yeah. oh, let's not forget about that now. Okay. And let's just stay on this for a second because, you know, I know, you know, we sort of kid about Shaba, you know, because of comedy or whatever <laughs> here in the United States. They've, you know, done their thing. But Shaba ranks like the 90s to me. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah. 
That was like one of the last original. Like, you better believe it. Shows. You better believe it. In the eight, yes, in the eighties, I landed. Shaba, yeah, Shaba was serious, man. Straight, yeah. straight up hardcore reggae music. Man, straight I mean, up hardcore I mean, reggae music. Look, I wasn't even a dance hall guy like that. Right, but, but he keep he he keep you moving. Yeah, <laughs> he keep you moving. Like, yes, I'm, he I does. Moving, you know. Yes, he does. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now, like sometimes, you know, I joke around with my wife, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, joking around, but I'm like, man, I'm gonna play some Shabba Ranch. She's like, no. <laughs> so one of the songs I turned on is Ring a Ding Ding. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. It's done, you know. But I'm yeah, like, man. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. And I'll even take it, I'll even take it back to the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Beanie Man. Yes. Okay. Yes. Beanie. When yes. Beanie came out with Girls Them Sugar, you know, like. Hey, blow up, man. Blow up. Now, yep. I will say this. Mm -hmm. At the time, my drawback was well man this is a little too poppy why is he doing it poppy like he should just slow it down mm -hmm. but i got over that <laughs> okay <laughs> you know what I'm okay it was like the first five ten minutes you know mm -hmm. like, i'm like you know i do like you're really making a mountain out of a molehill right now mm -hmm. uh, enjoy yeah this song yep. really is good it's yeah a great song okay mm -hmm. and you know there have been like you know singles here and there but mm -hmm. an overall album or artist coming out with the traditional sound, we haven't had that in a while. Longing for that, man. Why? I'm yearning for that. I, as, a, as, as a Jamaican and as a reggae artist, yeah. you know, I'm yearning for And that's why when I went in the studio to do my, my last album with my brethren, who I'm going to mention, his name is Eunice Macklin Jr. We went to school together, high school together. Bonafide brethren, big up Charlotte every time. We spoke about it and I said right now, everything strictly original. I don't know, no cover, everything. This has got to be an original album yes. built from scratch. Yes. yes. We're not we're not taking anything from here. We're not we're not, we're not copying anything. No, everything played, built from scratch. So it, it, it's it's this, this 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 piece of work bridging tie is it means a lot to me because it it took a lot of time to create this album but we have no regrets a lot of time and energy went into it but it was worth every second of every track on the album because it, it was a labor of love so to speak we invested a lot of time time and energy to do this album and i'm just really really proud of it man because it's something that i really really wanted and needed to do to say okay yes we can still create roots reggae roots rock reggae music we can still do this if we have the determination the desire and the drive and the patience to do it that's what we did man that's what we did love it i love it man this is best nice. so if people like you know want to like listen to your album they want to download they want to you know just find out whoever g you know is all about or what have you how can people get in contact with you and how can they hear your music okay great i am on pretty much all the all the um okay social media platforms mm -hmm. facebook instagram um reverb nation youtube twitter all that but now that you can you can check out my website it's www.evergmusic.com www.evergmusic.com and it has um everything there you know my bio is there all the albums are there all all the, you can download individual tracks or you can download the full album so everything yeah oh yeah everything is there my videos are a lot of my videos are sitting there as well so there's a lot of stuff and my contact information is there you know you can reach out to me um on any of these platform blood but you can also reach out to me at my email address that that's on my website so 
I'm there. I'm available. And yeah, I look forward to hearing from A. Hey, reach out, man. Reach out. Yeah. 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 Please, ladies and gentlemen, seriously, for all my true lovers of like reggae, and I mean reggae, not the other stuff, reggae, yeah. reggae roots rock reggae, take a listen, check it out. Yes. Because it's refreshing That's and it's something that I know for sure a lot of us have been missing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ty. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, www.evergmusic.com. If you get, if you Google Everg, you're gonna find me. Yeah. I'm gonna be there. You know, <laughs> yeah, so baby. it's 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 just really, really a pleasure and an honor, man. Just kicking it with you. I really, really appreciate your time and the energy. Man, it is no problem at all. Now, Mr. Everg, mm -hmm. I've come to the very last question, the question that my show's known for. I have to present this question to you. So here Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. What is the one word that best describes you and why? Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> Unassuming. Okay. Okay. Come on. I, 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 and um, I said whenever i'm gonna perform i go i go i'll i'll be at, at the the venue mm -hmm. and i'll be the one who is in the corner just chilling getting in the zone holding a good vibe you know dealing with the ancestors to say okay guide my steps as i move forward to deliver the to deliver the message to the people who are going to be in my audience so i'm you know so people will come there and Everybody else is doing their thing, hyped up and all of that. I am very, I'm very low keyed. But when, it, when I once I walk on that stage, it's a whole different ball game. Yes. It's a whole, yes. It's like the 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 ever G comes out <laughs> because I'm here to deliver the message of peace, love, and unity, and I'm gonna do it because I have the spirit within I. The ancestors are there with me, and I'm going to deliver this message to everyone who has taken the time out of your schedule, the busy schedule to be a part of my audience. I'm going to give it to you. And at the end of the show, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to tell you what I appreciate of your time. And remember that message was, is, and will always be peace. If, if, you, haven't, if you don't take away anything else from my, from, from my performance, you're going to hear these words many times my message was my message is and my message will always be peace love and unity always love it hey look that is a first and foremost man that's it and that should be the only message because those three words right there we all man we all should work towards that yes sir and absolutely we all work towards that then everything else becomes very minute, you know. Yes, 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 I, yes. I, I, yes. I hardly agree. <laughs> I, look, let me just say again, this has been wonderful. I have thoroughly enjoyed this conversation with you. Same here, I, same here, same here, Ty. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, look, it's, 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 it's a great conversation. It had been a great conversation. Oh, and, you know, thanks again for having me, uh, you know, as, as part of your your, your, your podcast, man. Really appreciate it. No problem at all. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been Word with Ty Brownlow. I have been your host, Ty Brownlow. Remember, no one is worthless. No story is worthless. You can follow me on all social media platforms at Word with Ty Brownlow. Or you can go to my website, tybrownlow.com. You're definitely getting this conversation here. You're going to get this. Trust me. All right. But I have a whole slew of other conversations and interviews on there that are top-notch, informative content. Please like, share, subscribe. Man, Mr. Ever G. Yes, sir. I thank you, sir. Honor, man. Honor. Peace, love, and blessings, my brother. The message was, is, and will always be. Peace, love, and unity. Keep, keep up the good work, man.